is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 man we got a little bit of news uh kind of not really but i still wanted to touch up on the topic man but you already know before i get into today's video and in today's topic i had to give a big shout out to the one and only the goat i see nate man yet again coming in clutch with today's thumbnail now you want to see more great Raider content, go check out his YouTube page at IC underscore Nate. His Instagram page is Raiders.Rhythm, man. Go check him out. Show him some love. But without further ado, man, let's get into today's topic. And let, let, let's talk about it, man, because the Raiders going into week 9, 10, whatever. I can't remember off the top of my head. Going into this week's game, prime time, Sunday night against the Chiefs, um, we... We look like we should win the game, right? We look like we should win the game, no doubt. We, uh, on paper, we're looking like the better team, um, but we are we we did elevate two guys for today's game, and I want to talk a little bit about both of them. And then, of course, before Deshaun Jackson's debut, I do want to mention a little bit about him. Now, as you all know, the Raiders just elevated two players for today's game, one being safety slash linebacker, haha ha Clinton Dix. This man was a pro bowler. Um, he has been in the league for a while, man. Um, he's made his first and only appearance this season, week three against the Miami Dolphins. He did not play one snap. He was suited up. He was on the sideline, but at the end of the day, he didn't get into the game. But what we do know is that he was elevated for today's game or tomorrow's game. Um, but I kind of want to talk about this man because he's not a linebacker. He's not a linebacker, but today when the Raiders did elevate him, he was listed as such. He was listed on the on the roster as a linebacker. So what I am wondering is that um, with with Ha Ha Clinton Dix not being the guy that he was, you know, not being still the deep guy, the deep safety, the post safety, um, is the Raiders um goal for haha -ha clinton dix is him is that to play him in that position that hybrid linebacker position where jonathan abram is at are we looking to give jonathan abram a breather are we looking to have jonathan abram and trayvon merrick more as a too deep high safety for this matchup because as we all know patrick mahomes and the chiefs they love to air the ball out right this is a super pass heavy team um maybe what i'm thinking is we might be seeing more too deep high safeties obviously that is not uh within our system's norms our system is really more of a cover one a cover three uh type of scheme right so we don't really go too deep high too often um so i'm wondering if that's the 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 thing that we're trying to go with are we trying to go with trayvon merrick and jonathan abram at too deep high for the most part this game it is a little bit interesting right you elevate an x safety and you list him as linebacker um could we see him this game in the nickel you know gus bradley is um the the proud owner of making up that weird uh three safety set and he made it up playing this the the chiefs right so uh we could see uh ha ha actually get some decent playing time um do i think that he plays more than dallin levitt no it seems like dallin levitt is pretty good um uh, in the eyes of Gus Bradley and Ron Miles, it seems like they trust him, right? But it's kind of interesting, man, because we did not elevate this guy since week three, and he's been on the practice squad ever since. Now going into week 10 against the Kansas City Chiefs, we know that this is a team that will try and air it out, no doubt, right? So I do think that this is a little bit of an interesting one. I do think, unlike last time he was elevated, uh, week three against Miami, I do think that he'll actually have a shot to at least touch the field this time. Um I kind of like this one, man. He's a veteran. He's a pro. Or he's a former pro bowler. He's he's played um, for a long, long time, right? He has experience. So if he's out there, my only concern is um, his athletics and his athleticism at this point in his career. Not really the mental part. I don't really mind that because I know he's seen the game. I know he's comfortable with the game. Um, 
So I'd like to see that. I would love to know your thoughts about that. Do you think we see Jonathan Abram and Merrick lined up at two deep high safety this uh, this game more often due to the fact that we know Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, they love to air it out, right? And uh, cover three, it's pretty, pretty good against the pass, but two deep high safeties is really, really, really more conservative against, against the pass. It really takes away the deep shot if, um, if played correctly. Uh, but so does the cover three if you have a really rangy... Uh, um, free safety and we do so maybe they're just elevating him just cuz or or maybe this does have a little bit of a play in what our scheme would look like tomorrow but the next person I do want to talk about that is interior linebacker um former Raven former Jet Patrick Onwasor now Patrick Onwasor in his prime when he really had his shot with the Ravens he was pretty solid, man. He was a guy that can get after the quarterback. He has over nine sacks in his career at the linebacker position, not an outside linebacker, at the interior linebacker position. So he can rush the passer. Um, He's a very, very, very solid run stopper. He has five forced fumbles on his career. I mean, I like the fact that we have the talent and the depth to be able to just bring up a guy with those with those uh, attributes and, and, and those accolades off our practice squad. You don't really see that too often. Usually a guy like that with those accolades, with those stats is on the 53-man roster. And thankfully for us, we just were able to say, hey, you know what? It's time. Let's elevate you. Maybe what I do think we'll see is Patrick Onwasor a lot. I do think we'll see him a ton. Um, we, we do know that Nick Kukowski was uh, a special teams guy this year, right? He, he hasn't really carved in himself a role at linebacker too much. Denzel Perryman has flourished because beyond expectations, right? Um, so with, with, with Nick Wachowski going out with an ankle injury late in last week's game, um, I do think that Patrick Anwasor will play a ton, a absolute ton of, of, um, special teams. I do think he'll be on the kickoff. I do think he'll be on punt coverage, kickoff coverage. Um, and I, I like to see that man, because this is a guy five, four of stumbles in his career. He has a knack to get the football out, and we are yet to cause a turnover, a big play on on kickoff, on on kickoff return. And and if he can bring a little bit of juice, if he could bring a little bit of thud, a little bit of hit power, uh, something and create create uh you know a role for himself going forward in this season, I think that he could definitely create that this week on special teams. And I really like to see this right because usually each time we elevate a person, we don't really use them. But this week, um. You know, with HaHa -Ha, uh, being elevated, to me, it seems like we are leaning towards playing a good amount of two deep high safety, uh, bringing in another safety on the roster. It is a little telling uh, uh, to me um, going into this game that I really do think that we're just going to go play two deep high. I could be absolutely wrong and we just want more depth at the safety position. And um, I, I like these two elevations, right? We've seen weeks before we elevate guys and they sit on the bench for the entire game. I think that this week it's the complete opportunity opposite we are elevating these two guys and i really do think that these guys will play a pretty big major role um not major but they'll, they'll actually have a decent role going into this game and uh we'll see we'll see after tomorrow night what role they actually had maybe i completely missed maybe i was completely right but i really 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 am interested in these two guys that we did choose to elevate this week now the last person i want to talk about is a former ram former washington football team former philadelphia eagle former whatever the hell i don't even know where he was at before that um deshaun jackson right deshaun jackson will be making his raider debut now i'm excited man i am very very excited for deshaun jackson this is a guy that um his route running is pretty, pretty good. Um, he, of course, he's not on the level of route running as the Keenan Allens, the Coopers, the Jerry Judys, those guys, but he is a pretty decent route runner, if I may say so myself. Um, this guy, when it comes to those intermediate routes, those crosser routes, those shallow crosser routes, the deep crosser routes, all those kinds of stuff, man, he really, really has those impact. And when it comes to those 10 yard outs, those 10 yard ends, um, he has those intermediate routes on lock. I'd really, really like that. Hopefully we see Deshaun Jackson, um, you know, have a decent, decent uh, uh, little chunk of plays that we have for him tomorrow. I do think that he'll have a pretty big game, though. I am being so honest. I think he will go over 100 yards tomorrow. I think he will have a touchdown tomorrow. Um, 
And I really do think that, that is a much needed freaking score. Um, with with how our offense has lacked uh, explosiveness after the uh, tragedy that happened with Henry Ruggs and and Tina uh, um, and all that kind of stuff, our offense lacked a lot of explosive play ability. If I may say so myself, um, I'm really ready for Deshaun Jackson to to do what he does best. Man, he has been since entering the league the best at what he does, and that's stretching the field and scoring deep play touchdowns man i'm very very excited for him um one last guy that i do know we elevated or actually we signed to the active roster um is kendo vickers now that happened because um darius Phylon was put on injured revert injured reserve now that's a pretty big loss with darius Phylon. hopefully kendo vickers can uh you know do something right if not i i have confidence in solomon thomas and quinn jefferson to hold it down until darius Phylon gets back but raider nation that'll be it for today's video Yo, let me know your guys' thoughts, whether it's on Patrick Anwasor, whether it's on Ha Ha, whether it's on d -Jack, or even Kendo Vickers, man. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. What are your thoughts for tomorrow's game? But, Red Nation, that is it for today's video. Love y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, man, on the road to 3,000 subscribers. I love you guys for that, man. But, I'm out of here. Peace.